So we've just got a simple 16th bar hi-hat groove, 16th note. It's a shuffle and you've got the velocities changing. One up and one down and then we've got the kick. Where this style differs from hip-hop trap is that the kicks occupy a more straight and aggressive feel. It's really hard to explain. I'll have to do a video on that in the future. Yeah, just like the clear-cut difference because it's like the kicks just they aren't as flamboyant, they aren't as sexy, they aren't as flashy, they're just like more like very dubstepy. And then with this genre you want to make sure your snare is not a young child snare. Do do like get one of those snares that have that high pitched metallic stuff on top. The snare is one of the more reverby drum elements in this style. And then you got more modern percussion. So I have one of these, I think there's a little too much reverb. So this is actually a- Are you depressed? Do you wear boring clothes? Do you want to be happy? Do you want to have a lot of friends? Then get like me. This yellow sweatshirt keeps me happy, keeps me uh, connected to my relatives, and also it uh, opens up opportunities to make new friends. And uh, yeah, I feel a lot better in this yellow sweatshirt. Nice. Um where can I get it? Well, I got this at www.oldchingushop.com. Uh, no, it's www.oldchingu.com. I'm very sorry. This is first time. www.oldchingu. No, www. It's three W's, bro. I said www. You said www. All right. You can get it at www.oldchingu.com. <laughs> now, you can be dripped up like me. Just use the discount code Q15. To get 15% off. Hey, and if you like what you see, maybe buy one for a friend or a relative. So they can be happy and not depressed too. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. P peace. It's actually a pitched up 808. Took an 808 and pitched it up 30 semitones. Then it just becomes a tonal sine wave. It sounds like an 808 tom. And then you've got just some random percussion. Like with my percussive, my percussive style is a lot of filling in the gaps. I feel like, like I'll just like, I'll, like if you look at this, it makes sense. So yeah, and for any beginners wondering, these impact noises, uh, one is a sine wave that I made pitch down over time, and I put that, you just put it on the first beat, take an EQ, and high pass it so that, so here you got this 808, I really just, Put it on a lot of the kicks, like the 808 and the kick are going to go together a lot of times. But sometimes, like these little things, these glitchy parts, really keep the style close to its, uh, you know, dubstepy founding. And it almost feels like this section is just leading back into this one. So it's kind of just a game of tension and release, like... With percussion like this... Types, like just making movement a lot of time pick a stable thing like a kick or a snare and then just put a piece of percussion right before it so you got the kick here and then the percussion goes right here and it just kind of bounces all molds together and this is a very good one just that pre snare just I added a few more of them, but at first it was going to be like...
And that gives a cool, like, very roomy vibe, like, very dubstep -y. So the instruments, we've got two loops, um, so this is a longer loop, this piano in the background, which is some big chords, it's kind of just the same chord, one chord, second chord which is like the response. This is the same chord, but this one just has one less note, so it adds a little tension. And then you got... Notice how these two notes are actually like... Like these, these, these notes all could form a chord if they were played at the same time. You know, these... They're, they're not just random, they're not... They sound good because they work together. And this one especially is cool because it's a... Uh, it's just going diatonically up the scale. Which means in scale, next note in scale, and the next note in scale. And that always sounds good. I'ma cut right to the chase. You don't know me, I don't know you. But I'm willing to give you a 30% off code for my clothing. I was kicked out of my house and it lied, look, you know, when I was this high and whatever. You don't want to hear all that sappy stuff. You just want some money. You just want some cool clothes. I got you. Hit that learn more button below and I got you. I got you. I got you. And this is like the resolving period where the loop restarts. Where the notes. I'm not sure what the chords are. Just put random stuff in really. But one thing that helps a lot is using the same note in your chords. Like the G is in every single chord and it just helps keep them all tied together. So just uh just They don't sound good when you play them together but it has a nice ring to it. It adds tension. It's all about adding that tension for the last two bars. So it's like regular, regular, and then wait, waiting for the change. And then that repeats. So this is going on. So this only loops once while this is already looped twice. And same with this one on top. And this is just kind of like a top thing. Just has a little movement. And if you notice this D, this is a very tense note. And it wants to go back to that G. That home note. Yeah, so this kalimba is very much in the low frequency. Like, it has a lot of stuff up here, but its main harmonics are down here. So, like, the fundamentals down here. And because of that, it doesn't conflict too much with this guy who's all up here and then you got this one in the background a lot down here so maybe EQing out where the kalimba is just to let them sit better with each other but the piano is really just there to be a background and the 808 just moves it forward you know? 